We still have... I'm afraid we still have work to do. While the Crystal Tower is protected against Daedra, any mortal can now walk right through its gates. We must convince the Sabiarchs to gather allies in order to defend the Crystal-like law. It will take an influence far stronger than you and I, of that I'm sure. We'll call a meeting of Somerset's most influential leaders. Perhaps, with such a force behind us, we can persuade the Sepiarchs to see reason. We've already seen the devastation that's possible when the tower falls into the wrong hands. And the recent attack by Nocturnal only reinforces the need for greater protection. I want you there to help plead our case. Will you join us? Go and tell Oriandra of my plan. She'll know which parties to contact. I'd also like to ask Sotha Seal to join us. His support would be extremely helpful to our cause. Honestly, I haven't yet had a moment to process all that happened. There's still so much to be done, and perhaps that's for the best. The time to grieve can wait. For now, we must ensure the welfare of Somerset. It's good to see you alive and well. Word has already spread about your daring exploits within the Crystal Tower. It's still a little hard to believe, truth be told. Of course, there's so much left to do. I already have a list as long as my arm. That doesn't sound good. Is there another crisis I have yet to be informed about? I'd almost rather deal with another crisis than try to convince the Sapiarchs. Still, it will be done. I'll even make sure to invite the Proxy Queen. Her palace should make for a suitable meeting place. Neutral ground and all that. Sotha Seal's in his study, preparing to depart. He never seems to stick around for very long. I suggest you hurry if you want to catch him. I'll meet you in front of the Proxy Queen's palace in Alinor. Meet me there after you talk to Sotha Seal. Here you are again. I thought such an outcome likely. The time has come for my departure. I've always felt a sense of peace in our tame, but also discomfort. A consistent dilemma within me, which seems to have only grown. I'll be glad. While you confronted Nocturnal, I worked within the shadow of your efforts. Negotiations with both Clavicus Vile and Mafala were held, and a compromise was decided upon. The two have agreed to a compact, an end to their direct meddling. Knowing the nature of Daedra, I doubt that shall be the case. However, any direct interference within Nern should cease, while the terms are met, of course. As for Nocturnal, it seems she's returned to the shadows. Perhaps. She likely contemplates her next course of action even now, given such a defeat. It may be centuries before she makes another attempt. Then again, could be days. Such is the chaotic nature of the Daedra Princes. I must decline. Valserin may see me as an ally, but to Somerset, I am a foreign interloper. An enemy of the state. My participation would not be welcome. The need for my presence has come to an end, and so I must depart. And so the gears turn once more. Ever-changing, yet ever the same. With you always in the center, it seems. 
I take no pleasure in such distractions from my work. Still, I would not dislike it if we spoke again. Farewell. As I have said, the proxy queen is unable to hold <gasps> an audience with petitioners the at this time. Order? There are must other be. affairs that require There must be attention. something important going on to bring them out of hiding. Finally, you arrived. We were able to gather everyone together, but they've already started the meeting. Valserin tried to make them wait, but the Sapiarchs demanded to know what was happening. To be honest, not great. Even the proxy queen is hesitant to accept our request. As always, Everyone's so worried about proper High Elf decorum that they refuse to see reason. I'm just not sure how we're going to win this one. Everyone's gathered in the council chamber. You should go inside. You can't make such demands. The Sapiarchs are the keepers of the Crystal Tower. This is about more than the College of Sapiarchs, Lana Teal. If Raz could intervene, perhaps we should hear from our newly arrived friend. We concur with Razumdar. Let us hear what the adventurer has to say. This situation sets a precedent that makes us... The Sapiarchs recognize your bravery on our behalf in Lalandril and within the Crystal Tower, but there is nothing you can say that will alter our thinking on this matter. So Valserin claims, if this is true, the College shall institute new measures to protect the Tower. That is well within our capabilities. The Sigic Order is responsible for all that has happened. Why should I trust them now?
Perhaps you're right. But the Sapiox did not cause these events. The Sigic Order did. My people died protecting the Crystal Tower. Why should I accept aid from the very Order that's responsible for their deaths? Be that as it may, the Sapiox will continue to do as we always have. We shall protect the Crystal Tower. Entrusting that responsibility to anyone else is just far too dangerous a risk to take. That's your opinion. You are a newcomer. I have no reason to believe that you have Somerset's best interests in mind. For all I know, you and the Sigic Order wish to use the Crystal Tower for your own purposes. Our friend has proven their mettle time and time again. Raz thinks you should hear about these deeds. Oriandra, admit our guests now, yes? What are you up to, Razumdar? I will vouch for this adventurer. While I was blinded by prejudice and hate, their actions saved Shimmerine. Sapiok, you know me. My son rejected the Queen's decree and suffered the consequences. This newcomer saved Relenthil. Finally, Raz must add his voice to the chorus. No one has served our Queen and our island as well as this adventurer, not even Raz. We have heard enough. We accept that the adventurer is trustworthy. Sapiok Larnatil, listen to what they have to say. I apologize for my assumptions. It's clear you've done much good for Somerset and its people. The protection of the Crystal Tower has been the Sapiok's duty for time immemorial. To change that now feels like we failed. I can't deny the truth of your words. Very well. Henceforth, the Sapiox will accept outside aid in order to best protect the Crystal Tower. I'll begin preparations immediately. However, I still refuse to allow the Sigic Order to participate. I promise we will work with the Proxy Queen to make sure the Crystal Tower remains safe. I'll begin preparations immediately. We'll even allow the Divine Prosecution and the Mage's Guild to participate in these efforts. Raz is sure there are many more details to work out, but for now, this one just wants a very strong drink. If you would wait a moment, my friend, I'd like to talk privately. Thank you for helping me win this last battle. While the Sigic Order will not be among those protecting the Crystal Tower, we will continue to observe from afar. And now, it's time for us to depart Somerset. We never meant to take such a direct role in events. We're observers, watchers. We lend a hand, guide fate, but never directly shape it. Besides, I need to return to Arteum and take up the mantle of Right Master, at least for a little while. On an interim basis until we get beyond this crisis and can make a decision for the future. In the meantime, I want to atone for what the Right Master and Lathan did I owe Somerset that much, at least. You're attuned to Arteum and have a connection to the Sigic Order now. The portal will always be open for you, and you'll always be welcome on our hidden island. Razumdar, remove your furry seat from our throne. After all Raz has done for Queen and Country, you would deny him this small comfort? Why Cousin Iren tolerates you, we'll never understand. Hmm. Raz could get used to such a seat. Metaphorically speaking, of course. This one would prefer a throne with far more padding. But enough of such talk. Today we celebrate your victory. From newcomer to savior of Somerset. Quite the feat, yes? Raz thought of many different plans once he heard of this meeting. He is glad the first turned out so well. His other plans, well, 
There is no need to dwell on such unsavory details. This one never doubted you could do it, Five Claw. Actually, Raz may have doubted you a few times. Or many times. But he apologizes for that. After all, you have now proven yourself most capable. And of course, no heroic deed is complete without a reward. Raz did indeed. On behalf of Queen Irene, this is for you. Ironic how Somerset was saved by one of the newcomers it so distrusts. This is a good lesson for the High Elves, yes. Maybe now they'll realize that change is not so bad after all. So, five. Enjoy yourself, my friend. Raz certainly plans to. Our throne, Razumdar. We would have it back now. So tense, your majesty. Must be this uncomfortable throne. Perhaps Raz could suggest a most comfortable cushion upon which you could sit. Such a cushion is much too lumpy for our tastes, cat. Thank you.